We will now look at self-neglect. The definition is that this is a difficult form of abuse to describe due to the broadness of its nature. It is a behavioural condition, both intentional and unintentional, in which a person will primarily neglect their basic care and needs. This includes their health, personal hygiene, their clothing, diet, attention to medical needs. A vulnerable adult displaying signs of self-neglect may also be suffering with several forms of abuse at the same time. Self-neglect can also come into a person's living conditions, particularly if they are a hoarder. It is difficult for those who care for vulnerable adults to decide if the conditions they live in are acceptable or they are at risk in living in this way and may require further support. Although help and support may be offered, care staff must acknowledge and accept a person's independence, how they choose to live, and ultimately, they may refuse any help from outside services. This can be extremely difficult for those working with the vulnerable adult, especially if they observe it as damaging the person's overall health. When concerns are raised, there are clinical, social, and or ethical decisions to be made about how the issues are managed. Often self-neglect is categorised by an endangerment to their self through hazardous behaviours, consistent lack of personal hygiene, clothing and or living environment, in addition to a frequent rejection of all services offered to them which would improve the quality of their life. It is vital that all carers of vulnerable adults are capable and aware of the factors which places the adult at risk. These can often be down to a mental illness, which increases their vulnerability to abuse and self-neglect, in turn, increasing the risk of developing health-related conditions. It can also be due to age-related illnesses, which can result in decline of motor skills, mental capacity, and overall body strength. Statutory interventions will often take place when a vulnerable adult, who is mentally capable, consistently refuses to accept and acknowledge they require assistance and places them at risk of significant harm. Behavioural indicators can be neglect of home maintenance, which creates dangerous living conditions, meagre diet, nutrition, lack of fresh fruit, vegetables, and or food that is unfit for consumption, refusal to cooperate with those services that assist with personal hygiene and care, refusal to medical attention as required, treatments and medicines which could impact their general health, refusal to attend meetings held by professionals, for example healthcare, social care, housing, etc., refusal to cooperate with utility companies, gas, electricity, water, where no change in circumstances has occurred, despite self-neglect being reported by well-intentioned members of the community and other agencies. Dwelling develops vermin due to the filthy conditions, causing a health risk to self and others nearby. Support services place complaints and or refuse to attend properties of those vulnerable adults with self-neglect for fear of potential risk to themselves. It can be problematic for those vulnerable adults whose behaviours are closely linked to mental health problems, both diagnosed or undiagnosed mental reasoning and or additional antisocial behaviours. These vulnerable adults will require support, however, will often not be eligible for specific services.